Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday in my region on the 21st of December, Google announced some new features. They say they're going to be rolling out to the stable version of Google Chrome in the coming weeks. Now, Google is calling uh, these improvements new performance and safety features. And just to say at the outset, though, that some of these we've had a look at previously on the channel. And some have already rolled out to the stable version, and Google has previously announced some of these features. But nonetheless, um, just to collate the three features they did announce um, yesterday on the 21st into this video, uh, if you are using Google Chrome and would find this of interest and benefit. Now, first of all, the first of three features rolling out soon, they say, are a more personalized and proactive safety check. Now, safety check, and for this, we just, by the way, just going to head to a screenshot provider just to cut to the chase because this hasn't made its way yet uh, to the stable. Um, safety check is found on the privacy and security page in your settings, as many of you may know. And they also mentioned now that safety check um, on desktop will now run automatically in the background, which I actually think is a nice move. So this means you'll get proactively alerted if passwords saved in Chrome have been compromised. Any of your extensions are potentially harmful. You're not using the latest version of Chrome or your site permissions need your attention. And as we can see, uh, they say these alerts will appear in the three dot menu in Chrome so you can take action. And I actually think this is a nice move where that um, alert will be in that main menu so you can take action sooner than later. They also mentioned they are extending safety check to revoke sites permissions like access to your location or microphone if you haven't visited them in a long time. And I actually posted on this previously and I've also seen a notification regarding this in one of my Chrome browsers already. And they mentioned that safety check will now also flag uh, if you're getting a lot of notifications from sites you don't engage with that much so you can easily disable them. And I actually think those are a couple of nice improvements that will be rolling out soon uh, for safety check. And the big one there, it will automatically run in the background. Now, moving on to the next one, they mentioned um, they are rolling out smarter performance controls. Now, by now, many of you will know that last year, Google rolled out the performance controls in the settings, which feature the memory saver and energy saver. And if memory saver is turned on, um, you can head up to a tab at the top and you can see there that um, there's more details about your tabs memory usage so i'm using as we can see for this uh, tab 132 megabytes memory usage for this tab memory usage 44.7 so you get the idea and over and above that they are also going to be including the potential they say um, memory saved when the tab actually goes inactive using memory saver and they're also going to make it easier to specify sites that should always remain active. So some of these already have made their way into stable, some not, but nonetheless, smarter performance controls with that memory usage, with memory saver, Google say, are on the way. And then the third and final one uh, for this video, which Google announced on the 21st, are saved tab groups. Now, this hasn't rolled out yet to stable. So for this, we're going to head over to Chrome Canary, which is a preview version. And this is a feature we have spoken about in preview and um, previously on the channel. And as many of you may know, uh, tab groups are a useful way to declutter and organize your tabs uh, in the browser, especially if you are browsing with a couple of tabs open, maybe as an example, if you are um, researching a certain topic. Now, they say rolling out over the next few weeks um, for Chrome on desktop, you'll be able to save tab groups so you can access them on other desktop devices and easily pick up projects back up. Now, just to demonstrate, because we have spoken about this previously, but how this will all work is you can see here uh, in my bookmark bar, I've got a tab group saved as number one and number two. And if I click on that, you can see it opens up my tab group. Now, just to demonstrate how you can save a tab group, if I right click, you can see um, it says add tab to group and I'm going to say new group and I'm going to call that number three and just give it a nice yellow color. And now you can see it says save tab group. This is the toggle you need to turn on. Now you can see that tab group now is saved. And as Google says regarding these save tab groups, um, you'll be able to save tab groups so you can access them on your other desktop devices and easily pick up projects where you left off so these will be synced across your devices and i actually think that's a nice move and that's already in the preview versions soon to make its way to the stable version 
And Google also says, just on a side note, they'll be bringing smarter and more helpful features to Chrome early next year, which will be powered by their new AI model, Gemini. Now, Gemini is something I've posted on regarding Google Bard, and I'll leave that video down below if you would like more info. But nonetheless, guys, that's some new features. Google say they are rolling out over the next couple of weeks to Chrome and new performance and safety features. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.